Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. We're going to have a great family weekend this weekend at COP. Say, Pastor, are you really going to be here? Yes, I've just taped these in advance. We came down for the dedication of the Branch Church here in Davao with Pastor Marlon and Pastora Rose, and my goodness, what a great job everybody has done in getting this building ready for God's people. Right now, I want to take you back to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, beginning in verse 10. Now remember with me everything I've taught you about the church in Corinth. This was per capita, perhaps the richest city in the Roman Empire. These were people that never respected the Apostle Paul, that never chose to give Paul respect, and that instead chose to listen to the super apostles and things. Now when you get around people like this, you, you have to challenge them about their attitudes toward leadership. So Paul said, if Timothy comes to you, see that he has nothing to fear when he is with you, for he is carrying on the work of the Lord just as I am. No one then should refuse to accept him. No one then should refuse to accept him. Now he comes down again in verse 15. You know that the household of Stephanus were the first converts in Achaia, and they devoted themselves to the service of the saints. I urge you, brothers, to submit to such as these and to everyone who joins in the work and labors at it. Paul is having to constantly challenge the church in Corinth about their attitudes toward leadership. And it amazes me today how in a time of prosperity, how many churches refuse to respect pastors. They would rather listen to a rich businessman than to a man of God. They would rather listen to a movie star than to a man or a woman of God. And, and I know what I'm saying is not popular, but it's not my job to be popular. It's my job to be pastor. This was the same problem with Corinth. They were more interested in social elitism than they were in the reality of spiritual ministry. Now, I would challenge you today. Who do you choose to listen to in life? Do you want to listen to the artistas? And, and they have their role in life. But you need to learn to respect and listen to the men and women who have sacrificed and followed the call of God upon their life, who, who labor to serve you. These are the people you should listen to.